Pope Francis has appointed two women to Vatican posts that were previously only held by men. Apparently, God came to him in a dream and told him he could pay women less. <laughs> A marine base in California revealed that 10 pounds of C4 explosives have gone missing from the facility. So it's either a domestic terror plot or someone's having a gender reveal party. <laughs> it was reported that after Morgan Wallen lost his recording contract when he was caught on video using the N-word, sales for his albums rose over 1,000%, proving my long-held theory that if NBC would just let me say it, the ratings will go up. <laughs> Popeyes has introduced its first ever fish sandwich called the Cajun Flounder Sandwich. It's also the first ever fish sandwich to be made entirely of expired chicken. <laughs> Actress Gina Carano was fired from The Mandalorian after sharing controversial anti Semitic posts on social media. Yeah, I don't know if Star Wars is the authority on what's anti Semitic. <laughs> Remember that desert junk dealer from Phantom Menace? My tricks don't work on me, only money. <laughs> if that's not Nazi propaganda, I don't know what is. <laughs> it was reported that a 117 year old nun in France has survived coronavirus, and she's actually starting to get insulted that God doesn't want to meet her. <laughs> Larry Flint, the founder of Hustler magazine, has died at the age of 78. His family has asked that in lieu of flowers, you send full bushes. <laughs> the, makers, <laughs> the makers of Aunt Jemima products, which have been criticized for using racist imagery, are finally changing the name to Pearl Milling Company. Pearl Milling is the name of the white lady who owned Aunt Jemima. <laughs> After customers pleaded for it online, McDonald's announced that it will bring back the fan favorite high C orange drink. But to honor Ronald McDonald, they're rebranding it as clown urine. 